I am indeed live. Well, just about anyway. It's a very, very busy time of year. Uh, eBay has been um, very busy. Lots going on. Lots of sales, thankfully. Um, I have reached a new milestone in my 90-day turnover, which isn't the be on end all because it's profit, really, but it's still nice to see that figure go up. So I'm quite happy with that, knowing that it will quieten down for me around mid-December because I don't really sell particularly Christmassy stuff. So I tend to have a little rest and recuperation over the, over the uh, your, uh, Christmas period. So, yeah. <laughs> But working my little nuts off right now. Um, had some nice sales come through actually. Very, very pleased. So I I was running errands for a dear friend of mine who's currently in hospital. And uh, while I was running errands and dropping some cat food off to her place, I um, came back via the charity shops because I I just felt the need to do something and not be sitting here. Oh, hello. Hello, Leanne. <laughs> hello, Jane. I guess a lot of people are working and busy, to be honest, but I'm, well, you know, I just thought, in spite of feeling horribly tired, which I do, I think I'm coming down with a cold, to be fair, or slightly sniffly anyway, um, I thought, you know, get out while you feel you can. I thought this little chap was cute. I paid 50p for him. Difficult to see. There he is. He's textured. Little hedgehog. There was a hedgehog thing today. Um, one of my favourite charity shops, run by the nicest people, um, were having a, uh, yeah, we're putting out some new stock. That's the brain, not connected to mouth. Um, and there was a whole collection of sort of owly shaped things going out because everyone needs an owl. But there was nedgehogs as well and um, various other things. So I, I kind of cherry picked a few items and think I'd better go back tomorrow when the rest of it goes out. Um, this tiny little hedgehog does have a, does have a mark on his thumb, which you can barely see. There we go, a little pottery mark. And if I actually look closely, dear, oh dear. Right, it does say made in England. And there is something, I can't read the writing at the top, and there's an eagle stood on top of a little plinth, which might actually say something on it. I will do some research. <laughs> Hello, just Jane. I have a Jane count of two. That's not bad. <laughs> and the rest of you who are watching, do jump in the chat if you wish, or just lurk quietly. That's absolutely fine. I just thought his little face, I thought he, he just looked so finely made. It's a cool thing. Um, and he is absolutely tiny. I mean, he's not even, he's about two and a half inches long. But his little upturned nose, just, just adorable. So uh, I kind of bought him just because he was cute. And at 50p, I didn't much care. In fact, underneath his 50p sticker label, he actually has a sticker label saying 261, which might be the model number. He's He must be porcelain. He's incredibly light, um, but well made if you get my drift. So I'm going to try and put him somewhere safe where he won't get bashed. There we go. Put him on there. Um, good news about the bracelets I found the other day. I don't... Um, these are Bakelite, Cherry Bakelite. I did the test and it came out as as, as a good colour. I also did a, a test on this bag, which I'm trying to research. I got this some while ago. It's in very bad shape. It should have a knob that goes on the top to open it. Um, it's It has a leather inner, but the material, which is very Art Nouveau, which is, would make it very early, because this is Bakelite with tiny little rhinestones attached to it. So I did the test and that seems to be Bakelite. And I looked up the Bakelite was invented in around 1907, 1908. So it's entirely possible this could be a very early piece of it. In a rather chatty bag, but just pretty, just beautiful. So sorry, that's an update on other things I found that I did a bit of research into. Um, but I'm loving the Bakelite because that is the first time apart from a box that I knew was Bakelite, but had a very different feel, that I found bangles, actual jewellery. So I was like, yes, don't want to sell them, obviously, but may do at some point. So uh, there's other things that came from the same shop as the Nidhogg, but anyway. <laughs> hey up, Kelly. <laughs> I picked these up because they were on sale. Um, I'll take the stick off, because it doesn't do leather any good, really, to have stickers on it, but that was a whole 
one pound fifty english pounds uh, i picked these up because they're slippers they're in a size 12 which is a goodly size size of my son's feet i mean dear god anyway <laughs> they're leather sold um a size 12 uk and they're by a company called chums now i've heard americans talking about chums and it seems to be quite well thought of these are very fine kind of slipper shoes i suppose you could wear them outdoors but these clearly haven't been they've only been worn indoors uh, they originally had them on at five pounds and generally in this shop i tend not to buy anything unless it's on sale because their prices are a little ambitious but you know for a pound fifty i'm certainly going to get more a decent return out of them and no my son won't be getting these to wear around the house because what he does to shoes is nobody's business oh uh, right they'll go on the I have a to be listed pile. This, this large pile you see behind me is all listed, where well, it's drafted and, and about to be scheduled. And I have a lot of packing to do, and then it goes up to the garage. So I do end up slightly drowning in stock. I was also given this bit of madness. I bought the dress. I don't know if you remember this kind of uh, taffeta stuff. And this is this is the headband. <laughs> Apparently, no, it's not really me, is it? This is the head. If it had a couple of demonic horns on, that might work quite well. Like a big, the big spirally horns, but that apparently goes with it. <laughs> I might list it separately. I'm not sure somebody will want them both. It's a bit of a look, isn't it? Tea needed. So, Kelly, how are you doing? <laughs> how is it all? Sounds like you're having fun and games with foxes. <laughs> Noisy foxes make, making a big hoo ha in the garden keeping everyone awake we had a bit of a hoo-ha this morning and my husband reliably informed me that he looked under the dining room table and there was a large rat that had been dispatched uh, by i'm assuming the larger of the two cats that we have <laughs> but it's like oh oh i do not want to find a groating rat under the table it's like the joys of having a cat flap they want to bring it in and go look mother look what i look what i hunted this is how you do it you don't just put some slop in a bowl clearly might explain why, why i didn't exactly rush to the food bowl this morning oh uh, anyway that gave me the heebie-jeebies i mean a rat we're not popular when I mean, we mice mice are bad enough birds are pretty ugh, but a rat right that was them slippers. I sort of did a toddle around quite a few of the shops in the end, as you do, just because I kind of felt like a wander. Now, I was pleased that this was new with tags. This actually came from the British Heart Foundation. Now, I very, very rarely shop in there. They have some lovely things. They also have some quite steep prices, so it's not necessarily for me. But I thought this was fab. This is um, very goth with a statementy sleeve, I feel. There we go. Super whippy dog stuff. Fabulous steampunk. And it's near with tags. I think it's one of these Chinese brands. This says Scarlet Darkness. Is it Scarlet? Yes, Scarlet Darkness. And it says it's a 2XL, which they've rated as a size 22. Now, in all fairness, when I look at it, although it's a good size, I'd say that's more like an 18. Really, 16 to 18. And it's a nice stretchy fabric with cotton so i think that's really fun and i like selling goth clothing as you all know because i quite like to wear it so new tags that will be fine scarlet darkness dear customer thank you for your pure oh for your perch ace <laughs> hyphen in between oh, see okay it's quite well written it offers women and men an alternative fashion wardrobe dominated by medieval styles have a nice day okay i don't know the brand i don't think it's not like um oh there's some amazing brands like um raven and um oh god i tell you my brain i cannot brain today really sorry but there are some there are some very well-known kind of goth dress-up brands that are very expensive you're good okay you've had tea Tea. I've literally just, just eaten something on a piece of bread which passed for lunch <laughs> literally about five minutes ago a late lunch but then I was out shopping and spending right it's all very mixed up uh, in terms of order so uh, we'll get what I can get as I dig it out of the bag 
So like I say, that was three pounds, that top, and I kind of half bought it. So you know what, it might fit me, but actually I think it's going to be too big. Right, this is a big one. I was quite surprised to find things in this shop. Now, I paid £6.50 for this, but it is vintage. It's a cape. It's tartan. Um, it's not a full length cape. It's one of those sort of ones that comes down to your knee length, I suppose. Well, depending, depending. Possibly beyond your knees if you're shorter than me, which isn't difficult. Um, it is by... Again, this I've never seen this brand before. What was that? A lip salve. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Just bisect myself over the arm of the chair. Right. Uh, this is the new label on me. This is Constance Murray. It says made in England. Um, I haven't. I didn't really dig around to find the fabric content, but it, it's a, it's kind of like a wool blanket, really. And it's in good condition. So I think either as a prop or somebody who wants to embrace the spirit of retro dressing. And oftentimes these things don't have their buttons. Oh, hello, Anne. Oh, hello, Andrea. <laughs> Barry's on nights. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I suppose you've got to work with, work with the schedule, really. I mean, night shifts and things just really throw everybody out. Well, let's hope he's doesn't mind doing nights too much. I like the fact that they had these opening bits here, which is totally necessary with the cape, but it's green and tartan and all the good things. I wouldn't know, I don't tend to pay six pounds fifty things, but I'm pretty confident I'm going to clear about 40 back. Rust reloaded. Hello and welcome. I love that name. So, right, invoices all over the place. I'll be doing my taxes for because I, I like to sort of do it all at once. I don't know why I just like to sit down and process it because I put my tax return in um, and I tend to wait until around Christmas because that's when I actually, when eBay goes quiet now, I'm trying to do it all and put my figures in. So I need to uh, go through and sort my, uh, sort my uh, receipts out. I kind of put them in monthly batches and then total them up as I go. I will always pick up a lovely vintage colour glass flap length necklace. I just I just love these sort of things. I like the coolness of the glass. I like the fact that it has different yeah, they've taken the effort to put different shaped beads in and I don't know how old this is. I don't I very much doubt the metal silver. Um one way to find out. Well, more than one way to find out. If I could find something magnificent, which of course I can't now that I'm trying to, because um, it doesn't have a clasp, so you can't really age it by that. Now, I can see what has happened. There is one one area where it, a bead has obviously broken and come off, but you know what? That is the only place that's happened in, and it is quite old, so I think it can be forgiven that. Um, it's not a major, major problem. And it's kind of asymmetrical anyway, it's not like it's really going to throw it. So as long as I declare that, I think everyone would be quite happy. I love things like that, they just feel so gorgeous. And I will test to see if the bits are silver, although I kind of don't think they are. I'm getting better at just knowing. Just knowing. <laughs> you started your accounts yesterday. Yeah, gathering receipts. Because what I'm doing is now, because we've got this, you know, where eBay pay us every month, I kind of think, well, isn't it simpler just to say, you know, to forget itemising things, it is basically cash in, cash out. So cash in is what they pay me every month. And that takes off fees and returns and refunds and everything. It'll all even out. Uh, and that just saves an awful lot of begging about, really. So then all I've got to do is look at my expenses, which is my post, uh, my packing, packaging, um, the cost of, of goods, and a couple of other bits and pieces and total those up. Should make it more, should make it simpler. I do it very simply. Oh, <laughs> ah, yes, cape, yeah. I, I just, it's vintage and I can't help it really. Yeah, it's quite it's quite thick. It's got to be quite good. And this is the season. If someone is going to want to wear a cape, then it's probably now, so I need to get it out. The gorgeous looking, that gorgeous looking velvet garment, that is actually a man's shirt. <laughs> 
Um, I think I showed, no, of course I haven't, I haven't done a haul in a while because I've been so stupidly busy. I'll show you it because it's quite an eyeful. <laughs> it really is. It's now listed, well, no, it's about to be scheduled, but I, I was hanging it up because I gave it a bit of a Febreze because it was a bit cupboardy. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is a shirt that is billed as a man's shirt, but obviously it could be unisex. It's 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 velvet. Um, it's actually Top Man, but it's a vintage Top Man. It's an old label, and it says it's an extra large. So it smells more of Febreze now than it does of anything else. And it's just fabulous. It's mad. And I will pick up things that are mad because I know other people like them. I mean, and it's warm to boot. Perfect for this time of year. Oh, very richy. It's bashed my witch about. I know that's not a euphemism. So, <laughs> yeah. eBay report of fees. Oh, right. Okay. I suppose I could do that just and file it. But I mean, when I'm actually doing my calculations, I'll literally take what they've paid me because that's what counts, isn't it? What you actually get in your hands. Velvet season. I do like a bit of velvet. I will buy velvet. I like it. Um, and I know a lot of other people do as well. Hello, Antoinette. Right. Um, yes. This I picked up because they're colours. I don't know how well it shows up on this camera because the light's a bit. This is just a skirt and it is just a, it's Wealth of Nations. I thought it was Poe when I first saw it. Look at the colours in that. It's fabulous. It's a real rainbow, and a lot of people like to wear their rainbow colours. It is absolutely stunning. Um, it's a 16, so it wouldn't fit me. Um, and it's lined, but it is just gorgeous. I mean, what's not to love? That would be fabulous with a, with like a black Neptune waist jacket and some and some steampunky boots. I could style it somebody up in that. No problems. Fully lined. Um, I'm assuming there's a uh, a wool content it was three pound fifty but i just thought i know that'll sell fast because of the style uh, wealth of nations is it's a decent brand has to be said and this is oh it's wool blend okay so there's wool with some viscose and polyam polyamide which is nylon um acetate lined it's kind of a i'm trying to think the length was what you would say i mean it's midi on me but that's that doesn't necessarily mean a great deal um it is yes yeah, 36 inches long that that technically is a maxi length it just wouldn't be on me there goes the lip salve again right we'll get that later i've got very very dry lips part of it's from wearing my invisalign things my invisible braces part of it's the time of year really to be honest um and i'm a bit run down at the moment i know i am so uh in fact, I went to the dentist yesterday because I'm very nearly at the end of the 30 trays that I got, for those of you who've got any interest in this. but um, And in fact, what they're now going to do is get me some what they call refinements because everything's pretty pretty nearly there. But, you know, if you've come this far, you may as well do it properly. So I'll have some more trays done. So I'm not finished with it yet, but I didn't seriously think I'd be finished that fast. But they were very pleased. Anyone who's thinking of doing it, don't worry about how old you are. The, the way your teeth move seems to be very much more about your just your way, you know, if you wear them enough and if you're doing the right things and, and luck of the draw, really. <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> to the floor on most people, to be honest. I mean, I'm not I'm not a typical height, am I really? Well, I suppose I am. I, I, I'm the smallest person in my house. <laughs> right, I picked this one up. This is a fella's. And this design with what's known as the window pane check, which is this very big check. Oh, hello, Susan Bedwolf in the house. Ah, so I do like men's clothing. I love the way it's made. This is with the double pocket there. That's very much a country gent style. It's a it's a country green and it's got this window pane check, which has a very faint red check running through it. And I'm not sure if that's a very pale blue, but it, it's 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 very classic. And I I pick this up it was four pounds which is a very very good price because it's reasonably modern it's only got two two buttons it's pure wool 
it's telling me it's pure wool it's in great condition and it happens to be everyone knows that austin reed that's a very well respected brand so and it really looked like it had never been worn it's absolutely bloody marvelous so um yeah i went for that because i'm pretty sure that someone is going to like that i'm hoping there's some decent money there I mean, until I actually do the research, and I very rarely look things up. If I'm having to look something up in a shop, chances are I'm not going to buy it because it actually isn't worth it. I'm just double checking. It's a very, it's not a big haul, but it was quite heavy carrying it home. Here we go again with these tweedy things. It's that time of year. And this is Bowden. How do I know it's Bowden? How many people have that kind of strange cuff on? <laughs> Multicolored buttons. The actual Bowden label appears to, I don't know if it's gone, but you, everyone knows it's a green on blue um, labels. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it. it Bowden. I knew it was Bowden. Uh, Bowden stuff, especially this kind of thing, does do well for me. Nicely lined, lovely and clean. And it's a size 14. In theory, it's my size, but it's not really my style. <laughs> but a lot of people will love that. It looks great over a swishy skirt and it's a little bit tailored. There's a bit of bit of velvet going on just there. And cat hair bizarrely, but that's probably for me. Fussing my friends to very long haired, cute Siamese type cats. Uh, yeah, I said that was four, didn't I? Right, we're getting to we'll do the last of the clothes and then I've got a few smalls. I kind of picked these up because they were 50p. <laughs> um on the 50p rail and i know there's a bit of a thing for these vintage style uh trousers again these are called they're beige and they're not not too offensive nothing to frighten the horses but they are just a kind of wide leg i'm just trying some of these things out to see if they'll go nice wide leg trousers in that vintage style with a flat pocket and they are they were fat face, and people who like fat face like it, don't they? Fat face vintage. They're only a 10, but I guess that's because they come, they're a bit slightly low waisted, which apparently is coming back. Not in my wardrobe, it isn't. I can tell you, that's a never going to happen. <laughs> but there's a lot of people who like it. Not for sale. I cannot re recommend this flavour of incense enough. Dragon's blood. Obviously, no dragons are harmed in the making of. <laughs> but it's the most lovely smell. I really like it. So that's for me. Then we got the little things. £1.50. Not entirely sure why I spent £1.50. Yeah, I am. It's vintage and it's cute. Sometimes you wonder why. But look at that. It's green. I love green jewellery. Little glass. I'm assuming these are glass. I will. I will double check and test. Little green colour. Just a delicate little necklace there. Very cute. It's going to look fabulous on somebody. Probably not me. Um, it's not silver. I'm pretty sure that's not silver. It feels more like stainless steel. Stainless steel feels harder than silver, which sounds weird. But. Uh, you, you you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, what's, what's happening here? <laughs> yes, you can message. Yes, do message me about them. Put put a picture on them. Um, the colourway sometimes will affect how popular they're going to be. But if there's one thing I love, it's liberty. So, and if they're very long and wide, um, yeah, of course, Anne. Please do. <clears throat> Something fell out of a little bag. Oh, this is cool. Again, I'm not sure exactly why I liked this so much. I paid one ninety five for it. But I, again, it had a look of quality about it. It's not missing any of its tiny rhinestones. It's got this sort of slightly, sorry, I'm not showing you very well, am I? Sort of like crossed over hearts. And there's another little heart there with the rhinestone in. So it's kind of cute, it's gold tone. But it had the a, quite a quality clasp on it where you have to push it down and pull it out. It is sprung as well. 
I didn't see a make there. I'm honestly waving it around like there we go. It just appealed. And I thought if it appeals to me, it'll probably appeal to somebody else. I will go over it with a fine tooth comb and see if I can find a make because it's too good not to be signed, in my humble opinion. I cannot see any signature anywhere. But I liked the style of it and oh, I'll just buy things because I like them sometimes. Um, why did I pick this up? This I just thought was unusual. You kind of get seed bead necklaces everywhere, but these are absolutely tiny. I mean, they have got to be... They're smaller than any I've seen. It had a nice tassel on the end. I know tassels are a bit of a thing. It's probably a souvenir piece from somewhere. It doesn't undo. It goes over the head. I really... I just liked it for being a bit more delicate and a bit more interesting and a bit unusual to be honest if it's weird and unusual i will buy it it looked like it'd been made with a lot of care um and i like the colorway the black and the white and the red i just thought it was charming so what did i pay for that i think i might have paid a pound for that because i think that was in the shop i got my lovely shop that got the incense and the bits is from uh, yeah i had one of these before do you know what it is yet? <laughs> it's one of those. Again, these aren't the real ones, if you know what I mean. There are real versions of this that are worth a lot of money. This has this mark on the bum, which is good. There is good money on Now, the last one I found had five pieces. This one had six. And I've got the other one scheduled. What it was missing is this little top piece that's your final number six hedgehog and he wasn't i can still sell the other one with five pieces it's still perfectly decent um but this one has all six and when you put them the right way round, they sort of stack up like that so it looks like a complete hedgehog hedge pig there he is so he's completely cute, very retro. It, the original design was obviously something rather special. Uh, there are copies of which these are good ones. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be popping him up as a listing for a little more than the other one because it's complete. And last, but I name is least. This looks like a very small thing. The, these, the hedgehog and the and the and the porcelain hedgehog and this little thing were all, all sat there on a shelf looking at me. This is like a little brass pot. So at the top of the pot is what looks like a Victorian penny. Very hard to see. Has she got a year on her? Didn't think to check. Mm -hmm. No year, no year on the front. Maybe there's a year on the back. And then underneath. I did pay three pounds for this, but it was so unusual. And underneath is the reverse side of a penny, suitably worn, and there is a date, 1896, so that is Victorian, so both of those pennies are Victorian. What was most interesting is when I, when I came home with it, I realised, that's, that's uh, sort of the inside, velvet inside, so it's, that's quite an old thing, but actually inside was a St Christopher and that actually is sterling silver so that was a bonus it does say sterling silver on there it's a bit tarnished but that was in, inside the box so I might find, dig out a nice little silver chain for that and um, polish it up a little and um, yeah Walter Boss knockoff exactly yeah and I paid £3 for him so £3, £2, £3 so I was quite happy with that it was rather nice so yeah that will need a little bit of a little bit of a polish you know just to um highlight his features i think it's st christopher yes he is he's, he's a man giving a kid a piggyback so that's usually st christopher isn't it <laughs> that's every man in the park isn't it um there we go give it a bit of a, a bit of a go over i think that's quite an old one as well sterling silver that says so yeah, that's quite nice. 
quite a nice little thing there. So that is my haul. Like I say, it's not massive, but then like I say, that is only from today, really. Um, I, I have been getting other things, but now they're all kind of ready to be bagged and put away. Getting to do a haul while it's still fresh in my mind before, before I actually start working on it has been a bit of a job. Um, yeah. So there we are. Half an hour of time <laughs> wasted and 21 of you also. <laughs> uh, well, I can work as I tend to work as well as watch YouTube. Yeah, it has to be said. Um, I can sort of do both. But it does depend what I'm doing. You don't want to lose concentration in the middle of listing something. Um, but yes, I, I really hope eBay is, is doing well for all of you because it is that run up to it's what they call Q4, isn't it? I I always have a quiet, quietish summer and then things pick up in the autumn. So autumn and spring seem to be my ultimately busy times and everything else is a bit more up and down. But eBay is up and down all the time anyway, isn't it, really? You get some days when it's amazing and some days when it's like, uh-oh. Um, if it wasn't like that, I think I'd worry, to be honest. I'd be like, what's gone wrong? Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you all do well. Go out and find lots of treasures. Happy hunting, and I will see you all soon. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> oh dear, now I have to end things. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> bye.